Today I will show you everything you need to know about a pen tool in Photoshop. So let's start. Hi guys, my name is Nemanja Sekulic and welcome to another fun episode. A lot of you guys asked me to create a tutorial about the pen tool, so here it is. Pen tool is a really powerful tool in Photoshop and you can create really interesting things with that. For example, you can create a pad that can be open or closed. You can put a text along that pad to follow that pad or you can put a pattern to follow that pad. You can even create a selection out of the pad and turn that selection into layer mask and so on. So let's jump straight into Photoshop and let's have fun. Alright guys, first thing what we need to do is to select the pen tool. You can press P on a keyboard, it's shortcut, or you can just go here and select the pen tool in a tool palette. Alright, first thing what you can do with the pen tool is to create a straight pad. To do that, just press and click to create first anchor point and then press again and click to create another anchor point and you will see a straight line between those two points. And if you click again and again and again, you can create a lot of straight lines and this is open path. You can close the path by uh, clicking on the first uh, anchor point. You will see this uh, O icon or circle icon here and just press on that, click and now you have a closed path. Okay, another interesting thing is that you can create really straight lines like 0 degrees, 90 degrees or 45 degrees. To do that, you just need to use the shift key on the keyboard. For example, you want to put the straight line here in zero degrees, no angle like this one. Just press and hold shift and click somewhere approximately and it will be a straight line. If you want 90 degrees up or down, just press and click somewhere approximately 90 degrees down below and it will make a straight line. If you want 45 degrees, it's same procedure, something like so and so on you can create really interesting results with that. And again, close the path. This is just by holding shift. All right, let's go a few steps below, behind. And now let me show you how to create a curved path. This, is, this was straight line path, now we will create a curved path. For that, again, just create a first anchor point and now press and hold mouse or stylus if you have tablet and just drag. And when you drag, you can see now is the curve. And now you can position the curve as, as you like, for example, something like so. And you can see these two handles. Let me make another curve here, just press and click. And again, you can reposition or change the shape actually of that curve and that's it. All right, now if you want to change the shape of the first and the second curve, you can do that with the control or command key. Just press and hold control key or command key on a Mac and click on the second anchor point. And now if you, with the control or command key pressed, move these handles, you will change look of the, that curve. But what if you want only to change this curve or only this part of the curve? With this, you will change whole curve. And with this, you will change the second part, but it's not so good. If you make another one, you will change completely that part. If you want to change only one part of the curve, then you need to press and hold Alt or Option key. And now I will show you. Press Alt or Option key, you will have new icon when you're putting your mouse on the handle and just move that. Now you break the link between those two handles. And now when you move this, you can move with the Alt or Option key or with the Control Command key. It doesn't matter. It will be the same. Now you can change the position of them separately. That's really nice. And like so, and now you can make really interesting pads and you can always change the position if you're not satisfied, if you want to make something else, etc, etc. All right, let's go a few steps back and let me show you, for example, what if you want to make something like so. You make a curve and then you need a straight line. So if you need a straight line, if you put here, you will get, uh, have again the curved line because this handle define the strength and the shape of the next line. And if we use control command key and put this handle all the way to zero here, 
oops, without messing the first curve, let me show you something like so, never mind, just for example, then we can make a straight line. But if you don't want to mess anything and it, uh, you want to do that really uh, easier, then you need to press Alt or Option key and just click on the second anchor point. Just press Alt or Option key and click it and you will zero out the second handle and then just make another straight line. Then you can make another straight line or another curved line by pressing and move the mouse. Okay, and if you want another curve line, then if you want a straight line, just press Alt or Option key and click on the last anchor point and that's it. It's so easy. Three important keyboard keys for the pen tool are Shift, Control Command and Alt or Option key. With those three keys, you can do a lot of interesting and creative stuff with the curves. All right, now let me show you another trick. Now I will show you how to create a brush stroke to follow your path. First, what we need to do is to create a path, any kind of path, for example, something like so. And we need to go to the brush tool. You can press B on a keyboard or just go to the tool palette and find a brush tool. Now we need to set everything about the brush. Size, hardness, color, opacity, and so on. All right, first I will change the color from black to red, just for fun. I will create a new layer and opacity it's 100% and hardness it's I will use 100% for this example and now I will show you how to create brush stroke to follow perfectly this shape this path actually all right to do that when you're done with uh, brush if you are satisfied with that you can change the size for example if you want to brush stroke to be something like so you can make it smaller or bigger, and then go back to pen tool by pressing P on a keyboard. Then right click it and go to the option stroke pad. And you have here a lot of tools. You have pencil, brush, eraser, and so on. Every tool here, it's working in the same principle like uh, I will show you now with the brush tool. And you have this option simulate pressure. We will go back to that later. Okay, when you select, uh, if you selected the brush, just press okay and that's it. You now have perfectly shaped brush stroke that follow this path. You can of course delete the path if you don't want it anymore by right clicking and go delete path. And now you have really nice shape created with the brush. Okay, let's go a few steps back. And for example, you want to use that simulate pressure options. Let's go to the pen tool, stroke pad, and if you press simulate pressure, Nothing happens. Why? Because you need to go to the brush tool properties and to set what kind of pressure simulation you want to achieve. Let's go one step back, go B on a keyboard to go back to the brush tool and then press F5 on a keyboard to enter the brush properties here. Okay, first let's go to the shape dynamics here and I want the size jitter control of that to be pen pressure. That's nice. You will see if I press lighter, I will have smaller brush size. If I press harder, I will have larger brush size. Okay. And that will be something like, so I will have simulation of something like this shape. All right, let's go back to the pen tool, P on a keyboard, right click, stroke pad, and now simulate pressure is checked. And let me show you what this can do. Okay. If I delete pad, it's really nice simulated pen pressure curve. The start and the end are really, really thin. Okay, you can do another pen pressure simulation and that's maybe opacity jitter. Let's go a few steps back like so. Go back to the brush by pressing B on the keyboard. F5 for properties and uncheck shape dynamics and go to the transfer. Opacity jitter, press, uh, put it on a pen pressure. And as you can see here an example, First, this part will be opaque and then 100% opacity and then again all the way to the zero. So let's do that. P on a keyboard to go to the pen tool, right click, stroke pad and simulate pressure is checked. Press OK. Right click, delete pad and as you can see here, this is another simulation. Of course, you can combine two simulation, for example, uh, opacity and shape. Uh, size jitter and 
with that you will have both stroke pet okay and if i delete the pet see you have now bot and so on and so on i will show you now how to use eraser in the same um, example just to know when every other tool you can experiment for yourself for example you have something like like this let make it bigger something like so or any image on the screen picture something like that and you want to create something like you want to erase this part where the path is. Go to the eraser, of course, E on a keyboard or just find the eraser tool on the tool palette. Choose the size. For example, you want this size. Okay, again, F5 if you want to simulate pressure or not. Something like so, it's nice. And again, you can choose, for example, here we will use really soft eraser like so and now you can go back to the pen tool by pressing p on a keyboard right click stroke pad and choose eraser uncheck simulate pressure and press ok right click delete pad and that's it we just deleted along the pad okay this is the first example how you can use a pen tool in combination with the brush tool and now i will show you how to use a pen tool in combination with the text tool so let's do that all right, guys, let's delete this layer and create a new one. Create some path, for example, again, just a simple path, something like so. And we can use a text tool, T on a keyboard, or just go find here, text tool. And uh, put the text tool over the path and the icon will change. Okay, something like so, and just click. And now you can type anything you want. And as you can see, the text will follow the path. And what is interesting here, if you press P on a keyboard or just press first OK and P on a keyboard again to enter the pen tool, if you press and hold Control Command key, you can move the path and the text will move along the path or change the shape, as you can see here. And that's really handy in some situations. For example, you're not satisfied with the position and then you can edit it and the text will reposition in the real time like so that's really nice of course you can go back press t on a keyboard and maybe you want to change the size of a font something like so or even drastically something like so and so on you can change the color etc etc that's another way how you can use a pen tool in combination with a text tool now let me show you another method how you can use a pen tool in combination with the patterns all right first i will create a new layer and then i will draw really really simple path something like so and now we have two options. First one doesn't work for me for uh, some reason. I don't know why. If you know the solution for that, please let me know in the comment below. And the second one, it's working perfectly. But I will show you the first one in case you find yourself in the same position that I was. All right. While you're still in a pen tool mode, right click and go to the fill pad option. That's nice. And now you can change the content from foreground or background to pattern. And then you need to choose your pattern here, anything you want. I will choose this butterfly. It's one of the patterns that I created in one of my previous tutorials about the patterns. You can find the link here. And I will check this script option and I will choose place along path. Everything else I will leave as it is. And now we have a new dialog box. And unfortunately, this is not a real life representation of the shape and scale of the butterflies, but with a few trials and errors, you will find the right uh, settings for you guys. All right, 0 0.3, I will leave the scale as it is. Spacing is the spacing between the butterflies. I will leave maybe five or so. This uh, angle, it's just the angle of the butterflies. I will leave 90 degrees, okay? And maybe, let me see, I can change the color of each butterfly, put some randomness in it or, or not, I will put some amount just for fun and now when i press ok something strange happens right as you can see there are only half of butterflies here half of the pattern and is defined by this line here everything what is inside this line from this end to this end it's shown and everything what is outside it's not shown i don't know why again if you have solution for this please let me know in the comment below that will be great Right, now let's go a few steps back, like so, 
And I will show you another method that's working really good. Let's go to the brush tool, okay? Be on the keyboard. And you need to press shift and backspace to enter this fill dialog box. Or you can go to the edit and just press fill. You have another shortcut, shift F5, okay? And again, it's the same procedure. Go to the pattern, choose your pattern, choose the script and place a long path, okay? And that's it. Now press OK. You will have the same dialog box with the settings, same settings. And now when I press OK, wow, that's really great. And I have my pattern following this path. As you can see, this second method is great and the pattern is following that path perfectly. All right, now I will show you another technique with the pen tool that it's most commonly used. And that's how to create the selection out of the path or how to extract objects from the background using a pen tool. So let's do that. All right, for this example, we will extract this cup out of the background using a pen tool. But before we do that, let me show you how to create selection out of the pad. Let's create any close, uh, close pad, something like so. And now I will show you a few ways how you can create the selection out of that. The most common method that I'm using is just to press and hold control command key and enter on keyboard and that's it. You have selection out of the pad. All right, the second method that you have a little bit more control over it, it's to right click and you have here option make selection. Now you have a feather, feather radius option. If you leave it zero, you will have really harsh edge without feathering. If you press maybe 10, uh, type 10 pixels, then press okay, you will have feather around 10 pixels radius. And for example, if we delete the background, you will see this is feather by, by 10 pixels, okay? And if you, let me do one more time, if you leave zero, and now I delete the background, as you can see, it's really harsh edge without feathering. Okay, now that you know how to create a selection out of the pet, let's play with extracting this cup. First, I will put the first anchor point somewhere here, and then I need to create a pet along this cup. Okay, you can always use control or command key to move this anchor points a little bit better or to reposition the handles. One great option here if you want to use it, I don't use it, but it's really helpful for uh, beginners, is to go to the gear icon here and choose a rubber band option. And now you can see how your next, the next pad will behave, something like this. And now I'll press and hold, click. Okay, that's nice. And you have this as a helper. And now, as you can see, I cannot make a straight line here, neither the this curve here. And that's why I need to cancel this handle. As you remember, to cancel the handle, you just press Alt or Option key and click on that. That's nice. Now I have more possibilities here. Now I will press and click here to make this part. And then I will create those curves here okay and for the beginners this helper rubber band it's really really useful maybe i will change this a little bit with control command key and then go here hmm. oops here something like so and then here again alt or option and click to zero that handle and now here, and now I can go here. And that's the procedure, Alt or Option key if needed, but here it's okay, like so, right? Let me see, it's nice here too. Okay, and let's, with the Control Command key, Try to fix this a little bit. Alt or Option key because I just want this handle. I don't want to mess with this one. And now we need to press Alt or Option here and close the path. And that's it. All right. And now let's create a selection out of that. 
For me, I will use just control and enter or command and enter and create a layer mask like so. And then I will just go and select this inner part because I didn't do that. Okay, like so. And just close the path and control or command and enter and go to the mask and fill it with background color with the control or command key and backspace. Okay, and now we have this cup selected out of the background and the edges are really, really great. We can change the background color if we want, maybe in some bluish or something like so. And that's it. You can create your design out of this cup of tea. All right, guys, that's it for today. I hope that you like this tutorial and that you learned something new out of it. The most common method to use a pen tool is the last one that I showed you to extract objects out of the background, to create uh, selections out of the pad. But it's great to know other methods too, because it can be really handy in some situations. All right? Be creative, practice and have fun with this really really powerful tool in photoshop if you have any questions at all please leave them in the comment below and i will be glad to answer it see you next week in the next fun episode bye bye